Hi there, welcome back everybody. Pro Spartan Gamer here in a very privileged position indeed. Um, I have in my PlayStation 3 the Pez World option file update 1.2 and boy isn't it an insane bit of quality this one. Glenn has really pulled the stops out on editing in this one. First of all I'm going to show you what was in the original two files that have come out, the original first one and the 1.1, just to refresh your memory for anyone who hasn't actually had a Pez World option file for a PlayStation 3 before. So in the first one that came out, obviously the Bartley's Prem was redone, there you see it, all proper logos, all the sides updated, all the squads up to date with proper tactics and additional players fitted into the squad like under 21 players which is a very good idea which Glenn does on all his files so as you can see all the logos are there all the correct teams um, just click on let's just click on um, Newcastle because that's Glenn's team just to show you the briefly show you what we mean about the standard of the the kits and everything all of the Premier League teams now have, have all their third kits added as well. Just to remind you, so there we are. There's there's the Newcastle kit with the Wonga sponsor and the Puma kit manufacturer. Also got like the fabric things there just by his right arm, as you can see. Details on the socks as well. Newcastle NUFC, as you can see on the sock. That's the sort of detail that's on every kit on, on this um file it is insane the detail let me tell you that so original first base file that was put out we had all the premiership teams done all the league emblems and league names have been updated here so you know Bundesliga um, Mexican League J League all they're in there, but the, the, the Mexican League and the J League, all the detail on that will come later. That's not in this update. That's all going to come in later. Um, obviously, Liga was licensed. Serie A was licensed. La Liga was licensed. The Dutch League was licensed. The Portuguese League wasn't licensed. So that's something we'll look into in a bit. That's been added in this update. The Bundesliga has been added in this update as well, which we'll show you in a minute, which is really exciting. In the second update that come through, um, the 1.1 version, I'm just going through this quickly because I want to get round to the DL that's in the new update really, but we had the Skybet Championship was added in the last update. So you've got that as well. So you've got all the teams in the Skybet Championship. The only difference is from this my file to what the file that you're going to get. I live very close to Yeovil Town, so I've changed Charlton Athletic with Yeovil Town. But if you download Pez World's option file, you will have Charlton there, not Yeovil Town. That's something that I've added myself. Let's just show you, um, I don't know, Derby County. Let's just show you their kit. Just so you see the detail on all of the kits in this game and on the Skybet Championship ones. If you watched the game yesterday, they are sponsored by BoyMobilePhones.net and there it is. Exactly the kit you saw against Chelsea yesterday in the FA Cup. Fantastic. Every detail there. Again, you've got the RAM on the, on the black stripe on the socks, if you look there. Sponsored by Kappa. Fantastic. Ram on the detail on the shorts as well. Everything's added. So that's the sort of quality we're talking about. That's what you got in the second update was the Skybet Championship. And now in this 1.2 update, we have some big news now. And this update has been a, the biggest one yet, I would suggest. We now have the Bundesliga in all its glory. So all the teams are in there. Obviously, a couple were already licensed. Leverkusen, Bayern Munich, and Sh Shakhtar were already in the game. Well, now Glenn has added all the rest of the Bundesliga teams. All their kits, all their, th including third kits. Let me just whisk through and show you some of them. Augsburg. 
Wait for it to load. There we are. Fantastic. The kit's there. Nicely added. Everything looking fantastic. Second kit. Lovely jubbly. Russia Dortmund were obviously already in it from the last one because that's Glenn's favourite second team. Newcastle and Borussia Dortmund are his teams, obviously. Let's have a look at Borussia Mönchengladbach. Let's have a look at their strip. They've actually got all three strips in the get being added. Look at the detail in that. That is some detail in that kit. Really is. Ooh. I'm not going to have time to obviously show you every single kit. I just want to give you the idea of the detail on this. So, I don't know. Let's go to Hamburg. Look at the squads in a minute that's been added in as well. Obviously, all the emblems are in there as well. The strips. All the their home, gr home ground names will be added as well. So here's Hamburg's Floy Emirates. Look at the detail on the socks again. Adidas with the customly free stripes down the shoulders as well and down on the shorts. So you're getting the idea of what the Bundesliga has been added in its entirety, totally. All the squads there you see on the right, all of the squads are up to date as of now. All transfers are up to date as of midnight, the 4th of July. Um, 4th of January, sorry, not the 4th of July. So you cannot have any anything better than this really. So all the squads are up to date there, you see. We'll look at that in a bit more detail in a minute. I just want to go through all the rest of the teams and everything that's been added. Right, Portuguese League. This was obviously in-game before, but it never had proper emblems proper and proper kits. All of these now have proper kits. Obviously, Benfica and Braga were already licensed. And Porto, I believe. Just show you one then. So all these kits have now been added and all the emblems and everything are correct in the Portuguese league. There, it's the basic black kit there, Nike sponsored, but it's all there, it's all up to date and legitimate. None of these default kits anymore. Everything's there as it should be. Just pick another one at random. Maritimo. Not sure if I said that right. There it is. That's a bit complex on the shorts. On the right leg there. But everything's on there, the detail is on there, looks fantastic. Done it in game, they look even better. I played a couple games last night with with some of them and, and they look sensational in game. I'll give you a few clips of that at the end of the video when I've explained everything else. So Bundesliga and Portuguese League now all in their kits, emblems and squads up to date. Other European teams, Glenn has added other European teams in here because there were some default teams in here. Fenerbahce and now all up to date. Squad, badge, kits. I think it's five other teams that has been added. There's a Fenerbahce top. Again, fantastic detail. <laughs> Look at it. It's insane, the detail. It really does, I mean, almost better than the real thing if you can say that. I mean, when you see this closer up in game, the yellow and the grey stripes almost fade into one another. There's no defined line on the end on this kit. And that's cap being captured fantastically here by Glenn. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just look. The second and third kits are done for Fenerbahce as well. All there, all for you guys. Spoilt rotten we are to have such a fantastic file for our PES 2014, we really are. I mean, look at that. I mean, we almost want to go and play Fenerbahce with the 
just so you can see the kits. Other teams that were added here. Um, and all the Spartans, I've put the Spartans in obviously because of my SP Spartan series. If you follow it on Pez on my channel, I'm not going to go on about that. The video isn't about me really, it's about the Pez World Option for 1.2 update. But that was Austria Vienna there. I've replaced Austria and Vienna with Spartans. On your file, you will have obviously Austria and Vienna. All their Austria and Vienna squad is still there as you see because I'm just using the Spartans emblem and name. And kits for my Master League. Stour Bucharest, they're there, they've been added. Let's just have a look at their kit. So I really do want to crack on and show you the other little gem that's been added in this in this update, which I'm really excited about. There's Stour Bucharest, City Insurance sponsors. Nice little kit. The old blue and red always seem to go quite nice on a kit. And they've got it going to a go there. So that's Stour Bucharest. Victoria Plents. They've been added. Probably said that totally wrong as well. That's another kit that's been added. Not a very big squad there, but they're all there. FC Basel. So they're there as well. So like I say, they've been filled up. They've been filled up. The default ones have gone from the other European teams and they've been replaced with the other teams that were featuring in this year's Champions League and that that's fantastic right let's get on to the real meat of the bones now that I think is probably the, one of the biggest things for me personally added on this file I know the Bundesliga and the Portuguese League are big but national squads European all of these have the proper kits now and boy don't some of them look great just whiz down through Obviously, the emblem and everything was already in there, but the kits wasn't. They were just default colours. You now have proper kits for them all. There's Austria's kit, Puma sponsored. Proper kit, but some probably pick one of the more boring ones there. Let's just show you a couple that I was really impressed with when I was on a sk skate through last night. Belgium was one of them. They might feature in the end game. I'm not sure yet. What? Probably going to show you a bit of in-game Belgium just because the kit looks outstanding. There it is. Look at that. Wow. One of the hardest kits probably to get right. The shorts and everything in between the legs there. The DL and the stripe across the chest with the two colours merging. Looks fantastic. Check out the away kit yourselves when you get it as well because that's pretty good as well. Black away kit. Croatia is a big thing for me because of my rebirth of a legend series with Stimmage. I've been, when he's been playing for Croatia, it's just been a default red or white kit. I'm very excited to put him in these kits, let me tell you. Because look at that. Fantastic home kit. The old squares that Croatia have made their own over the last few years. And the away kit as well. Can't wait to get that in game with rebirth of a legend. On my become a legend mode, I must admit, they look amazing. Whizzing through, but all the European national sides have been done that are in game here. All of these have now been done. Apart, you know, I think England, Italy, France, and some of them are already licensed, maybe Germany. But all of these have been done. Republic of Ireland's been done. Montenegro, Netherlands is another very uh, good one, just to show you. There you are. The checkers are different shades of orange. Spot on again, perfect. This was a tough one to get right, I imagine. Scotland as well. DL in this kit. Let, I'll just let's show you it and see the DL on the kit down the sides when it loads. Look at that little little touch. Down the seams there, a little bit of detail added around there and around the shorts you see. That is just insane detail and quality that's been added. A little red fl fleck under the arm as well. 
just perfection really. There is no other foil that you guys need to get apart from this one, I'm telling you. For the PS3, you've got to get this foil. All through the video, there's going to be Twitter links flashing up or, or where you go for it. There's going to be how you go and get the foil from the from the Pez World website as well. Um, obviously, you've got, before you down, download this file and put it on your PS3, make sure you have downloaded all the Konami patches and data packs um, for this to run smoothly. You need to have downloaded all of those First of all, the face build pack and everything. Show you Sweden's kicks. That's another one that I really liked. Another wow factor on that one. So make sure you've downloaded, go, going back to it, make sure you've downloaded all of that before you attempt to download this. I mean, you can download this on your, on your computer, on your PC, get it downloaded, get it put onto uh, USB memory stick ready to put into your PS3 but make sure you've downloaded all the updates from Konami first for the for the PES 2014 game once you've got them on there you only need this one file if you've not if you've not downloaded um, update 1 and update 1.2 of PES World don't worry Glenn tells me you only need to download this one file whack it in there copy and replace all the other files over and there you go. If you've got any questions, please ask. We'll, we'll do our best to answer or go on the forums on Pez World and they will answer your, your questions about installation guide. It is easy to do, don't worry. Right, lastly, I just want to show you some of the face builds on this file. Obviously, some of them have been done by Konami, some of them have been done by face builders that work for the Pez World family. Um, Links to everybody who's involved with the Pez World f family will be in the description of this video below. Um, I mean, they've done a lot of work on the tactics and that on the squads as well um, to make it run more smoothly. And every game plan in the top divisions has been looked at and recreated for formations and starting 11s as accurate as they can be. So everything in this file gears up to make the game you know a lot better for you guys at home I mean the kits and everything obviously a, a massive plus with no licenses I mean without these option file editors the game wouldn't wouldn't be nowhere near as good to play as it is and I mean this is without doubt the best option file I've ever seen on PlayStation 3 this update the national European national kits fantastic been a lot of work for Glenn and obviously he will continue to work hard for us, the community, in getting the rest of the kits that aren't licensed done in the game. But um, being patient is where the key is because you can see the quality he does produce in this video I'm showing you. And I'm, I'm in a great honour for me to be able to show you exclusively what's in this file before it comes out. I mean, fantastic for me and my channel here. Let's just show you these face builds before we wrap it up with a little bit of in-game action at the end. Right, we're in Arsenal in the kit. Um, I mean, Aaron Ramsey's one that's been spoke about quite a lot this year, having a great season. His face wasn't a very good face prior to the update. And there you see, much better now the face. That's pretty good, I would suggest. You're not going to get a lot better than that. Um, Jack Wilshire, another one that wasn't particularly good. And you can see that's pretty good as well. The kit looking fantastic below as well. So there's a couple there just from Arsenal that's been added. Olivier Giroud, I think, may have already been on the game. I don't know, but because of his French connection. But there you are. That's the sort of quality of face you are now talking about on this PES 2014. Courtesy of some of the work by Konami, but also some of the face builders working for PES World. Just show you a couple on Aston Villa. I think Christian Benteke was one that was probably not all that good. All of it takes a world to load. Anything that's been edited on this year's game does take a world to load. Don't worry about that, guys, at home. If it's taking a while, it's not broken. It just takes a while for it to come up. And there you see Benteke in the Aston Villa shirt looking fantastic. Just wanted to show you a bit random, but I'm an Everton fan. Not that Stephen Naismith's my favourite player, but I just wanted to show you the Scottish kit a bit closer up. And also Stephen Naismith, his face has been done. I think this is one of the best ones I've seen, to be honest. I think it looks really 
point like Stephen Naismith and look at the kit there you can see that detail I was talking about a little bit closer there fantastic just think that looks ridiculously good for some reason just showing you the Belgium kit a bit closer up and some of the faces for the Belgium squad as well before we get on to some in-game action so you can see the kit in action there's Witzel look at him fantastic that kit looks amazing close up doesn't it it really does Dembele another one whose face looks pretty good now I mean all of these are pretty good Fellaini Hazard De Bruyne all pretty impressive really Benteke um, the Tongan yeah can't say that so I'm not going to attempt to I know his first name's Toby Toby Alderweir he now plays for Atletico Madrid but he looks fantastic as well the Marlin company Quartar not the best him he's got a lot bigger ears than that I think but you get the idea um, it's all been brought up to where it should be really and you know Glenn and his team has been responsible for a lot of that I mean all the kits and everything fantastic some of the face builds have been done by Pez World as well some of them have been done by Konami I'm not gonna actually split the difference and who's done what I'm not 100% sure the other couple things to tell you about this file is all the boots and accessories are accurate as of yesterday when I got the foil um, and yeah enjoy the in-game action at the end I'm going to show you probably a bit of a couple Bundesliga sides just showing you the kit in action and a couple national sides just no commentary just a bit of music and you enjoying the kits but thanks very much for viewing this video get out there and get this when it's released and made available this is just a little sneak peek that I've been privileged to show you I've probably not shown you all the detail that's on this file I'll be sat here for hours showing you all or I'm just trying to do a broad spectrum of what's on option option file Pez world option file 1.2 update um, great option file I'm the pro Spartan gamer I just say please check out my channel and my Pez series um, be appreciated if you did follow me on Twitter at Pro Spartan Gamer, and don't forget to follow everybody to do with Pez World. All the details are below, and you've seen it flashing up during the video on the screen as well. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Enjoy this option file, and get out there and play Pez.